All right, so after 3,000 miles, this thing is still super responsive. It's your friendly neighborhood boo and I'm back from the dead. Can you believe it's been three years since I've gotten this 1500 watt lithium scooter? Remember how super excited and thrilled I was? So you're probably wondering why I'm wearing a dress shirt and tie? Well I want to convey quality and class because I feel the scooter's under 200 miles and I gotta tell you this thing is the most hair raising, mind blowing, jaw dropping, heart stopping, soul juddering, earth shaking, time warping beast of a machine. Jesus Christ, time flies. I'm not as enthusiastic as I was when I first got the scooter, but it's still a really cool rush to ride. The torque is still freaking amazing. The odometer says 2400, but actual mileage is closer to 3500. By my math, based on the number of trips I've taken, Reason being, my Garmin ran out of battery on multiple occasions, and I was just lazy to charge it. Here's the built-in LED light. It could definitely be improved on. I feel it is more for drivers to see you rather than for you to see the road. I have these Phoenix flashlights, which are way more effective for riding at night. And as fast as this thing goes, I feel it should come standard with the speedometer. It doesn't come stock with one, so that's a minor minus for it right there. If you're curious, I ride with a Garmin 4Runner 201. And uh, here's the horn. The horn is meant to get pedestrians attention and I actually give it high marks for doing a good job at that. It seems Chris discontinued the old on-road tread tires and replaced it with knobby off-road tread tires. It seems to perform just as well as the former tire on paved road, but traction on grass, dirt, and gravel is markedly improved. The old tire was also a giant pain in the ass to replace. Hopefully this one is easier to switch out when it's time to get new tires. This right here is precisely the reason Super Cyclone Scooter charges a premium for its lithium 1500. This 20 amp hour lithium iron phosphate battery retails for over $600 on its own. And let me tell you, it is worth every single penny. Here's a video of me getting 27 miles on a single charge while maintaining an efficient 25 miles per hour. Is the marvelous original motor believe it or not it boggles my mind that something so small and compact can push 250 pounds of weight up a 5% grade hill for 15 miles at 28 miles per hour absolutely blown away by the motor here is a recent hill climbing video enjoy Replaced the roller chain and sprocket to number 40. The original was okay, but it was getting jerky and grindy after some usage. Uh, hit me up if you want some more information on how to do this upgrade. Okay, so the controller is located right there in front of the battery. 
And this is the third controller from Chris. The first two got MOSFETs blown due to overheating. This third one has performed well for over 2,000 miles. So what did Chris do to improve its robustness? Unfortunately, he had to eliminate regen. So regen is no more. But the controller is definitely more reliable now. Brakes are still functioning just fine. Stopping power is about 25 feet to stop from 30 miles per hour. So check out this video. Is this the perfect scooter? No, it's far from perfect. But just like anything else out there, it has problems. But if you ask me, is it worth spending $1,500 of your hard earned money on this? The answer is an emphatic yes. For under $2,000, this is the best scooter on the market.